it was uh, 1864. Sterling Price was on one of his raids coming up out of Arkansas. Ewing was told Price is here and you know you need to get him out of the state. Ewing was looking for a battle. Sterling Price, you know, kind of picking up supplies as they went. They ran into a large contingent of federal cavalry and they actually fought the largest cavalry battle this side of the Mississippi. Trying to keep the history alive so that people really do understand what started the conflict and how it evolved into what it turned out to be. There's a lot of people out here, you know, they have ancestors that fought in the war and that's why they do it. The uh, Federals, under the cover of darkness, walked out of camp and actually blew the powder magazine in the fort so that the Confederates couldn't have, you know, any surplus powder that they had to leave behind because they were in a hurry to get out of the fort. I, I think for a lot of people it's just, oh, it's just kind of exciting to hear all the cannons going off and, and that sort of thing, but I think there are also a lot of people that really want to learn more about history. I mean, we, uh, when we have a whole family here, we do more of a living history kind of thing where I have one daughter might be on the loom and another one's sewing, we have some old sewing machines and just get a chance to to teach people. People ask questions, they seem to be genuinely interested. We call it camping with a purpose. Pretty neat too to actually have the fort there and you can you can much more easier to uh, to visualize what it was really like exactly 150 years ago. And uh, there's a lot of brave men back then that, that went through that. So I think you just feel a lot more a part of that and kind of paying them some some honor and respect for what they did what they and what they believed in. I just feel like it's um, important to be part of history because you learn so much more being actually part of it and doing it because you learn what was accurate, what happened, and um, I feel it's definitely an honor being to know what they did back then and realize how brave and heroic they had to be to do what they did. And so it's just, um, for me, it's neat to feel that.